You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. November 3rd, Counted Faithful, 1 Timothy 1, verse 12. I give thanks to Christ Jesus our Lord, who has strengthened me because he considered me faithful, appointing me to the ministry. From a human perspective, the Apostle Paul's record as a zealous persecutor of Christians should have precluded him from being used in God's service. Paul was known as the chief of sinners, a blasphemer, persecutor, and violent aggressor, 1 Timothy 1, verses 13 to 15. Everything changed when God saved Paul. He embraced the Christian life with the same fervency in which he had opposed it. Paul labored to be faithful in every assignment, no matter how small or large. Ultimately, because of Paul's faithfulness, God entrusted him to be one of his foremost promoters of the gospel. Paul understood that everything he ever accomplished for God's kingdom was due to the enabling power of God. He was not deceived into thinking that his own intelligence or personal drive brought about God's will. Rather, Paul was grateful for the opportunity to be tested and found faithful in any assignment regardless of its size. Your ability to serve God is not based on your past, but on your faithfulness today. If you are faithful with the task God entrusts to you, God will enable you to accomplish it. Don't distinguish between big and small assignments from God. Paul saw everyone as a privilege he did not deserve. Whether God has asked you to pray for someone, to minister to a person in need, to lead a Bible study, or to care for those who are sick, Strive to be faithful. You will experience His enabling as you serve Him. If you are faithful in a little, God will entrust you with more. You will be able to join Paul in praising God for having counted you faithful, putting you into His service. Luke 16, verse 10. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, Music by Mark Brown.